for an adult audience. Love, love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Listener mm, discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. It's love line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 LOVE 191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Nicole Ritchie is here tonight from The Simple Life. Tuesday nights, Fox 8.30, although last week there was Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Right, right. You know, and here's the thing, too. I think uh, it uh, aired, uh, premiered Tuesday night, and people thought, all right, well, they're going to run another one on Wednesday, and it's going to drop off because uh, the curiosity factor is going to be over. Didn't but happen. Did higher ratings. Yeah. Yeah. Big ratings uh, both nights. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, but they ran, it, they ran two separate, they ran a uh, separate episode, different episode uh, Tuesday than they did on Wednesday. Yeah, I think the reason they did that is because the first one was sort of an introduction, and they showed us meeting the family, and they didn't really get into us working. And then mm-hmm. the second episode was kind of us getting down and dirty and, you know. Is this, uh, how, how long has this been around before you guys went and did it? I mean, was it an, was it an idea that's been kicked around for a while, or did you just hear about it and do it? Um, I would say that it got brought to my attention around November or December, mm-hmm. and then oh, we left. Year. Yeah, and we did it in uh, May. Oh, really? Yeah. So not they they just moved forward with it. Yeah. And there, there, Altus, there was Arkansas. That was in the day when yeah. people were trying to reinvent the Beverly Hillbillies. Remember that? Yeah. And this was Green Acres. Well, what happened was is they were going to do a Beverly Hillbillies, a real Beverly Hillbillies with mm-hmm. like some Ozark Mountain family. I heard family. that. I heard that. And the uh, Ozark Mountaineer uh, Society like wrote a very nasty letter with CBS. a lot of misspellings. Yeah. To uh, <laughs> they, here's how they knew it came from them. They they didn't email. It was via carrier pigeon. <laughs> True. What happened to harnessing pigeons? All right. So. They uh, they scrapped that, but this is the reverse, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, the first off, the town is uh, what's the population of uh, Altus, Kansas? I think it's or what, Arcan- Al- Arkansas. Altus, Arkansas. Sorry. Um, I think it's eight hundred or six hundred. Wow. Really? Yeah. Now, did you grow up out here in L.A.? Yeah. And you knew Paris for since you were kids, babies. Since we were two years old. Oh, because your dad, your dad's Lionel Richie. Was he friends with the Hiltons or something? Yeah, our parents are friends, and they sent us to the same nursery school when we were three. And just because they're, our parents are in the same social circle, so they mm. sent us to the same piano teacher uh, and tennis instructor. I'm gonna kick my dad right. You know. <laughs> you know, my dad had my dad had one goddamn friend. His name was Vince. And for my, <laughs> for my for my birthday every year, I would get a card with a nickel in it for each year I was like, ah. Oh, that's uh, hot. Nine oh. nickels. That's uh, 45 cents. Oh. That's very hot. What's Vince yeah. doing now? <laughs> Sit. Time. Somebody died and he got an apartment building so now he can live. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So, uh, all right. So, you're, now you're, now you're, you're uh, father, Lionel Richie, obviously, mm-hmm. um, I don't know, he's probably in the Hall of Fame, is he not? Yeah. And, uh, you know, millions of uh, records, millions and millions and the whole thing. And uh, Michael Jackson, uh, Godfather. I was going to, you know, the the question then arises like, well, has this changed you? But from what? You know what I mean? And your reality is different than someone else's reality. and Most people's reality. Well, most people. But yeah. you could almost say that about almost anybody, depending on how they grew up. I mean, everyone's circumstances are a little bit different. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Now, yeah. yeah. But have you changed? I really haven't. I'm just the same, the same me. But you could have been bad before. I don't think I was right. that bad okay. before. Are they contemplating a new a new go around? Um, they have spoken about it. Nothing like formal, but I have heard talks of a second season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, how you stay in touch with Paris? Uh, did, you, did you guys get into it? I mean, it's tough to be with somebody. I in beg these, your you pardon. Know, everyone asks you know me I that. <laughs> everyone asks me that, but if you think about it, it really doesn't make sense for us to fight because at times it was kind of us and it was them and they right. didn't understand why we always i mean we always wanted to go out we always wanted to do something and they have downtime and their downtime and they just sit there <laughs> yeah and do nothing and they yeah. didn't understand why we didn't want oh, to just Adam, sit there. this would be utopia for you yeah oh. mr downtime <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna propose they don't you. all touch their genitals while they're sitting there <laughs> i might they love room. downtime i'm gonna i'm gonna propose a show to fox <laughs> called downtime where i join the same family but we don't do anything <laughs> We just, they're like, we're going to stay in tonight. And I'm like, fine. I don't get that. To do what? Watch TiVo. They don't, but we couldn't watch TV there because that's not good TV to watch us watch TV. That's what I'm saying. Like, we literally had to. 
I don't know. Yeah. True, don't they got these square things with words in them? Uh, yeah, those were books. Books, books. What about the books? They keep them at the place. <laughs> There's a place That's where you can borrow. That's not good TV them. either to watch us read oh. books. All right, so you, you went out. You, did, did you do anything uh, grotesque or anything? Did you have to? Um, I preg tested a cow. and uh, Pre- Pregnancy test? Yeah, you like, Paris didn't do it. She would not do it. But mm-hmm. I stuck this latex glove up to my elbow. Yeah. And they put like a little baby oil on me and I was like no let the cow have something so I poured the whole bottle of baby oil on shoved my hand up the cow's ass and the thing is though is that it's so it's so gross because he doesn't want you in there. So he's like pushing, and if you you, you know, it's like I didn't want to be in there. Pushing either. like trying to checking for pregnancy. Yeah, she he in the ass. Oh, hold on a second. Wait a minute. The ass part I was gonna go with, but the he part was a red flag. Whatever. Ass and he. It's a girl. But the thing is, like, if they're not pregnant, you can move your arm around in there and like. Do all these things. In the vagina, though, right? No, the you stick gina? it in the ass. Yeah. But for some reason, you could feel everything through the ass. Ah. That is good See, times. I've always said that. <laughs> always. <laughs> I've said you can, you know, they say the eyes are the window to the no, soul. No, no, you've always it's said it. It's always the, the, the rectum. The is fist the, and the rectum, you've always said that. The fist and the rectum. You've That's how you that. can really separate the wheat yes. from the chest. They loved it. The cow? The cow? Yeah, you should try it. Oh, oh no, I've done it. It's cool. <laughs> Really? Wait a minute. How how come the cow liked it? I could tell. Like when I wa- when he walked away, he like instead of just running with she. the other cows or whatever, she she, she yeah, would like look on, back bro. at me with a little sparkle in her eyes, oh. and she's like, you know, like winked at me a little it bit. Much more game. Or- but you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I wonder if uh, like if I was doing this, it would be important that it was a she cow. That would make a big difference. It would make yes, a difference so yes. my arm wouldn't be gay. Right, I just right. call yeah. cows he's because they're such they're so big and ugly, so I just call them he. Oh well you got your bulls for that. But right. the the point is is Dear. is I wonder if it makes it good for you to have you'd rather have your hand up a uh, he a than a she. Ass. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. No, no, she's she's all right. <laughs> all right. She, she, women are much more fluid about these things. Nah. Yeah, relax. Nah. She's not so uptight. I'm open. Right. You're uptight. So now. you and Paris uh Thick as thieves, still. You didn't get yeah. a pardon my, me, but an ass full of each other while you're stuck in the uh, in this uh, cabin. No. no, and she's all right. She's doing okay with the tapes and all this stuff. Yeah, she's uh, bounced back. She's over it. She's cool. Is there is there more tapes that are coming out? Do you no. know anything about that? No. Is this no, is this no? Her family weirding out about this? No. No. <laughs> what the what does bother her family? By the way. You know, they just seem sort of uh, okay with everything. Probably you saying that bothers your family. <laughs> what does bother them? Yeah. All right. And uh, and, and are you living at home? Or are you out? I'm living with my mom right now, actually. Mm. But I have my own separate entrance. Like, I have my own gate, so. Smart. Got yeah. your own gate. Yeah. And that goes to your own door? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, That's in the nice. house. I'm just. Right. I'm off the house. Right. I was out of the house, too. How old are you? I'm 22. 22. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 22. Yeah. You were out. I uh, my own place. In the garage, though. I've had my own place. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I've had my own place. place. His own place. Your own place was where? In the garage. The garage. Oh, at, your at, own place in the garage. At your parents' house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had my own I had my own gate. It was the <laughs> gate that you got into the backyard with. <laughs> yeah. And you had, had crap in a decorative popcorn tin. Yeah, in you a pinch. That? I got locked out of the house. Hey, you know what it's like to rough it. You're, so, putting your, you're fisting cows all day. I was day. living on a porch with cement floors. That's so right. You didn't crap on a tin like he That's did. That's right. You know. That's what? what he did at his home. Oh, uh, for Why don't you just go inside locked, and use the regular my, bathroom? My, sto- my stepmom locked me out of the house. And said, you can't crap in the house. We didn't actually have the crap conversation. It was just uh, the door was locked after 10 o'clock or something like that. So, yeah, you, know, so you could crap before 10. One could, yes. If so you just don't eat things. before, like, six. Yeah, I mean, after six. You know, when you're 19, your, your bowel timing isn't what it is now. <laughs> now that I'm a season 39. You want me to crap right now? I'll do it right now. I'll do it now. You'll do it. Watch out. Are you, do, do you have a toilet now, or you're still doing it in, in the tin? I, no. I have I have a few toilets, but I got so used to the tin. The tin, just, now you're just used to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. plus it's, like, portable, so you don't, now you don't have to have Christmas to get out of bed. It's a big time for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who got me the popcorn tin? Uh, high Vince. Vince. Vince, yeah. 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 Oh, that's a great gift. 
I, I tell you, no, no better gift for an uh, eighteen-year-old who graduates uh, high school than a uh, three-pack of popcorn. You got your cheese. That you get at the you got smart the caramel. Yeah, you got yeah caramel, well, that's good. You got your cheese. You got your regular butter. I had to send him back seven dollars. <laughs> that's good. That's six three, three, four dollars. Two ninety-nine. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! Who gives people popcorn? T- the tin of popcorn. Oh my God! Is my family low rent? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm going to kill everybody. <laughs> popcorn. Tins of popcorn is a great... Hey, here's the whole thing. If you can't pony up 10 bucks for a graduation gift, just keep it, right? Am I right? I mean, I would, lo- I would love the popcorn. All right. Uh, that, that's a little, I really list. would. I'm tired of you princesses making <laughs> making like you're cool with everything. Laura. I love popcorn. You would attack <laughs> him and stab him with a crocheting needle if he got you a graduation I d- I gift. I love popcorn. All right, but if that was your graduation gift, the tub of popcorn... Grateful, okay? Oh, my God. They need you. to put you on the simple life. Yes. Yep. You're not grateful for anything. Next year. True. What for mm-hmm. what? Nicole, you got good instincts. Please. <laughs> read this guy quick. Laura, well, it's easy for her up in her ivory tower to look down on me crapping in my popcorn can <laughs> and tell me to be, be grateful. No. Let them eat. It's not easy to look at, by <laughs> the way. It's not an easy thought to maintain. Yeah. All right. Hello, Laura. Laura. Hello. You're 22? Yeah. What's I'm up? 22. Yeah, it's a good age to be, so. But um, my question is, I'm, tw- you know, I've never had an orgasm in my life, and I've been sexually active since I've been 14 years old. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, is it, like, biologically predisposed that some women women are just incapable of having orgasms? Or uh, that's that's like fairly normal? unusual. It's, norm- it's very common for women under 22 to have difficulty, but after around your age, things should start working a little bit. Yeah. Well, let, let's ask some questions. So is, are there reasons that you could be having trouble? You, do you have any medical problems? Um, no, I'm not taking any medication. No I don't have any medical problems at all. So. Mm-hmm. And any now, what, no orgasm with the oral sex? No orgasm with oral sex. Mm. Do you like... Are you yeah. dating these guys? Do you like these guys, or are these guys that you just... Um, most, uh, they're usually guys I'm dating. You, you, know? you like them? Like, yeah, you know, I like them. I'm not really that promiscuous. Have, all, have you ever know. had a boyfriend? Yeah. And did you have any trauma history? Were you abandoned or anything? Anything we should know about? Um, I've had some, you know, like bad sexual encounters when I was younger and whatnot. But How old? What's that mean? How? Yeah, tell us about it. Well, Cracked in a tin. Like, <laughs> when, <laughs> when I was younger, I was raped. And How was old? How old? Line. Um, the. First time I was probably 13, and the second no. time I was. So, like a 13 year old gets raped means somebody sexually abused you before that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. All so, right. there, you could just see a sexual abuse survivor. That's a whole different situation, right? Yeah, you, it is. But yeah. it's yeah. like, I, you know, it's like I'm really. Don't you're past it. it. Kind of doesn't affect you anymore. Passive, so. Yeah, you're not. You're, you're, it's, li- it's left an imprint on your body, and that needs yeah. to be sort of worked through. Well, what have you done? Have you gotten some therapy? Um, when I was younger, I went to therapy, but I kind of just really don't have time for it much anymore. Yeah. Because so, I go to school and I work like 60 hours a week, so it's just kind of inconvenient as of right now. Basically, yeah. what so. those kinds of traumas do is parcel off parts of your brain. It leaves the brain not integrated. And naturally enough, if there was pain associated with the sexual abuse in childhood, it kind of parcels off that part of your body from the rest of your body, too. So there's less sensitivity and less reactivity to the, the arousal. Mm-hmm. So it is something that would take a lot of work and a lot of time and uh, something okay. you ought to be interested in. Hey, hey Laura, mm-hmm. I, I know you're real casual about the uh, history of all the sexual abuse you've been through, but that's really going to screw up your sexual mm-hmm. antenna. Mm-hmm. It's going to yeah. bend it. I mean, and it's going to be hard to have orgasms anyway, 22. Yeah, but uh, go ahead. Sorry. But be, being going through what you've went through is going to make it almost impossible. And it's going to give you trouble with relationships and everything else. So why don't you focus on that for a little while and then get to the orgasm stuff. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right. I, I don't know. What do you want to do? Some kind of cream to rub on yourself? No. no look. you got to do therapy. Right. It, especially if you've been sexually abused that yep. way. Yep. Yeah. As a young person. By the way, we had to pry that one out of her. She really didn't want to say, and it's not yeah. she was young. She was thirteen. I mean, no, no, no. Then she no. had a child too. The, the rape was that. at thirteen. Then she had a childhood sexual abuse too. Yeah, yeah. Which and is what happens. Well, here's the thing too. I think people think if they can make something ca- 
casual to other people, it'll be casual to them, too. Like, if you can just sort of, oh, yeah, I'm past it now. Well, that, they're convincing you and themselves. But more right. than that, if they're not in immediate pain now, if they're not right. experienced pain now, they're right. past. Right. As opposed to realizing the reason they've sort of, the way they've managed that pain is by pushing it away and changing how their brain works and needs to be uh, undone. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, uh, speaking of uh, childhood sexual abuse, uh, Nicole's step uh, godfather, I should say, is Michael Jackson. Innocent? Yeah. Did he do any of this stuff? I don't believe he did, no. Did you used to uh, go over to Neverland and hang out and ride the rides and I everything? I did, yeah. Oh, so, oh sweet. Okay. That is nice. Like like when you're five years old and all throughout your life? Um, I, I really stopped going there when I was like... <coughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have the flu. Mm. Um, I really stopped going there when I was like 13 or 14, just because I was in school and just doing my own thing. Grew boobs. He threw her out. <laughs> <laughs> Got weird for her. No, but th for the girls, for the for the gals, it's okay. I mean, I, I think uh, I think you could do it. But did, did you, and, and I know you don't want to say anything bad about the guy, but, and who knows what happened, but it always seems like he seems focused on the uh, young boys and not as focused on the young girls. I mean, I don't know way? because I'm not a young boy, but I do know that if I ever called him and had him call me back, he would call me back in two seconds. I really don't think that it has to do with boys or girls. I think it's just kids. He just likes being around kids. Mm hmm. And uh, so you you spent a lot of time there when you were younger, but then as you got older, you mm -hmm. got out of there. Why? I mean, I didn't get out of there. I just, just I, I was just I was just doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. I was, just, you know, you're 13. It's like I I I was yeah. over Michael Jackson. And you want to be cool too. You don't want to. You want to be riding a Ferris wheel, licking a snow cone. With exactly. Michael That's Jackson. what I'm saying. I was very just caught up in my whole like pager cell phone high school type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, and you want. You're in a Nirvana anyway. You're not into uh, Michael Jackson. Exactly. All right. All right. Big time. Trevor. Hey, what's up, guys? You're 18. What's hey, up? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? First of all, I I didn't know Nicole Rich is going to be on the phone. Can I have, can I ask a personal question? Have you ever slumped in your life? What's slumped? Get down from, you know, from the rich folks to oh, a... Slumped. a slum. Oh, slumped. Oh, slumped. Slump is when you, like, hunch over, dear. Slump. Yeah, when you call people Have dear, I ever slumped? Slumped. Well, she's here. We've got to figure this is slumping. But, you know, they're all rich. That's I mean, I was on the... Uh, you know, I was in Arkansas for a month. Yeah, let me say something. Let me cut Trevor off over here. Look, here's the whole thing. I was poor for a long time. It sucked. Now I'm not <laughs> poor. It's better. I don't need to go back to being poor so I can keep it real every six months. Being poor should be a, it should be like a crappy school that you want to graduate from as soon as possible. And this whole thing of like, oh, yeah, well, you've never been poor, so you should go back and be... Well, I don't know what it's like to live with polio. Should I should I infect myself? Right. Should, I, should I cut That's a right. leg off so I know what it's like? Right. Screw knowing what it's like. This is what I say to people that uh, when you try to uh, relate to people that have addiction, this sort of thing. You've never had it, you don't know. Okay, by follow that logic, therefore, only cancer survivors should be cancer doctors. And just right. the specific cancer yeah. that you have. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing I can treat. Yeah, listen, her, her dad wrote uh, 300 number one songs. She's uh, had a good life. But I'm sure you've been... Well, see, it's all real, It's all relative. Well, also, you know, I want to say this, is that it's... it's, And I'm not, you know, pointing my finger at you, Trevor, but it's it's like people that that don't really know and then they try and bring me down like oh well you've never lived like this the point of doing the simple life was to show that it's not the material things it's not the money that makes you happy I mean I've had difficult times in my life yeah. as well and I think that it's the people that kind of judge me I think that they're more superficial than I am because I'm I understand that everybody goes through things in their life it doesn't matter how much money you have hmm. Trevor I, I don't want to complain. I don't care. I'm, I'm just he asking. Want to complain? complain. Who Trevor jack slumped? off and he cussed. Can we cut him off? Oh, he cussed. Trevor tried to slump one time when he was trying to blow himself <laughs> in high school, but his uh, mom Slumpy. opened the door and he hit his head on the. Trevor's new name is Slumps. Slumps. <laughs> Slumped. <laughs> Slumpy balls. <laughs> Slumpy balls. I like that. <laughs> Trevor Slumpy balls. All right, we cut Trevor off because uh, he used the uh, F and or uh, S word. No, he's being rude to our guest. Yes. All right. Uh, here we have another question for uh, Nicole. John? Yes? You're 26? Correct. What's up? How you doing, Adam? Long time listener, first time caller. Great. Great guy. Um, I have a question for Nicole. Yes, gorgeous. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I would say, what did you learn from being on the show? I'm sorry? What did you learn in your words from being on the show, The Simple Life? For me personally, I really learned a lot about family values and morals. Um, my parents are divorced, and I did not grow up in a family that ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner together and told each other the truth all the time. And, and I really respect the way that they live. And that, for me, was the biggest lesson. It was a much bigger lesson than any job that I worked out there. Did you go to college? Yes, I Where'd did. Where'd you go? I went to University of Arizona. Mm. And, uh, we, yeah, what? What? Did we show up down there when you were in school there? I don't think so. That, that's about when we were going down a couple what times. What years did you go? What the, years did you go? We went a couple of years, maybe four years ago, and, and then again three. five years oh, ago. Oh, so or maybe. Like that. Maybe I was there. Yeah, listen, she was making the scene. Yeah, she yeah. wasn't spending Friday night listening to me. <laughs> Be telling about tours of, stories of cramping and tins. So it's out right. on a Friday night yeah. having like a good filling time. Filling your ass up with uh, jacuzzi water. Either. Why'd you ask if I went to college? I'm just curious. I oh, mean, oh, because oh. You, at, at college, sort of everyone's just a college student. Uh huh. And I imagine you were just another college student. I was just a college young. student. Yeah. yeah. With a private jet. <laughs> so, right. what would you say you learned from the working man, Nicole? From the working? Yeah, yeah from the, the working, working stiff. What'd you learn? Um,. I just learned that it's really hard, which sucks. is definitely what I expected. Yeah, it, I mean, it really sucked. It really did. Yeah. But, I mean, I have a lot of respect for people that do that. It's much harder than anything that I could do. The, I couldn't do it. I'll tell you that. They're, they're, they're farmers on the show? The, uh, the if they're farmers. They're people that work at um, fast food restaurants, Ugh. gas stations, oh. veterinarians. Dream jobs for you. Veterinarian I could handle. It's brutal. Yeah. Stuff you yeah. aspire to one time. They're handing uh, good, crampy jobs. Yeah, oh, yeah, really? In real life. Yeah. Oh, no. No, good. No. No, just don't bother. Okay. Like, like, here's the whole thing about all that stuff. Like, like I worked at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You can imagine what it's like working at McDonald's, I right? worked at Sonic, yeah. You worked, oh, that is a good crappy job. Yeah. You worked at the burger joint over Not there. Not really. Are you asking... That was the, in the simple the, Yeah, oh, in the, the show thing. during yeah. that month no, or I mean, in my life? I mean, in your life. No. Yeah. All right. Oh, but you've done it in the show, so yeah, it's been I did okay. it. In the show. I mean, I did is, it. Point is, is it sucks. Why bother yeah, doing it? Don't sucks. challenge yourself. Totally. You, uh, you got your own entrance. Mm -hmm. That's the point. And the cow's got its own Shut entrance up. too. That's, a, that's you, an I exit. I wouldn't put my hand. Oh, an exit. I wouldn't put my hand up a cow's ass. You would or wouldn't? You I want wouldn't. to? I wouldn't know. I would not want to. For I'm fear of what the cow might do. That. Yeah. Not just. Uh, you would like it. It's warm. Yeah, Drew could pick on me. It'd be warm. He likes that. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Did they come out a different way? No, yeah, I just wanted to make right. a point. All right. Nicole Ritchie is here tonight from uh, The Simple Life on uh, Fox Tuesday nights, 830. We'll uh, take ourselves a quick break, and we'll be right back. Hey, yo, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Nicole Ritchie is here tonight from hey The Simple Life. Fox, Tuesday nights, 8.30. Uh, Nicole was just saying during the break she heard sex didn't get good until uh, you were 60. That's what my figure skating coach told me. Oh, you're a figure skater, too. Good for you. Yeah, but not for the fellas. No, guys, guys starts dropping off about 20. Yeah, if you, if you were to... If you, let, let's, let's just say you drew a uh, chart, Drew. Let's yeah. just say... Let's just say... Uh, but you, for okay. guys, it's purely the intensity of the physical experience. Purely. Yeah. Right? R There's really nothing else on the scale. All uh, right. So it, it goes something like this, and, you know, maybe hits its zenith, and then it, then it, it sort of sort of does this. You're like, uh, uh, you're, uh, come on, let go of my pen here. At 20? You're like... You're like 35. It's just, it's just. Uh, then all, all of a sudden, it's just free fall. <laughs> let me, let me ask you and guys then, a question. Well, hold on a second. Then it actually curls in on itself. <laughs> That's when you tuck your junk between your legs, <laughs> and it, you nail yourself in the ass. Ew. So after, yeah, but you're about 37. A ask here, us something. What? About 37 at Cape. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Is it true? One of my guy friends told me mm -hmm. that once you start dating a girl, as soon as you have sex with her, right after, you become 50 percent less attractive. The, the girl does. Yeah. No. Not, not. Depends on the the situation. Is she just brutal afterwards? No, 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 no. You, she doesn't become fifty percent less attractive the the day after you have sex with her. It's it's a year after the first time you had sex with her, or six months. You mean there's a stock. It, it drop depends on what you're in. If, there. if you were really into that person to begin with, that yeah. will that will stay. 
No, if, 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 yeah, if you're in love or really in into the person, it can be glorious and it can up things depending on how the I heard experience a whole went. Dinner conversation with these like young guys. I mean, these guys yeah. are like Those eighteen guys to just, twenty-two. They're just they're, getting laid. They're retarded. They're just mm-hmm. getting they're and they're, and they're, they're assholes yeah. and they're just getting laid. Yeah, they, they don't really they're care assholes. who they're. No, they, no, they are. They're big yeah. assholes. They're big idiots. But they, but they don't. They don't really care. They just. And who whatever. are these? Uh, listen, I uh, don't take this the wrong. No, way, I was just at dinner with friends, and I. I, I don't like. I don't trust these guys. Okay, here, 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 here's what it is. Yeah, these guys are a holes, and uh, no. It, now, it, it is true that at a certain point in the relationship, it sort of slides into a different kind of thing. If a guy is just trying to get laid, and right. has now done that. <laughs> Right. Uh, the attractiveness of the partner could drop off ninety percent. If, if that's guy. his only motive, that could, could drop off. 90%. Well, that could happen with a girl also. That's 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 not my question. I'm just saying, like a guy, let's say he's really really into a girl, and then he sleeps with her. No. No. Okay. No. Unless she's got a uh, smelly hoo ha. You know, box. you know what I'm saying? If the box, if the box, crusty box. Yeah. If there's some crust on the box, that can be a deal breaker. Vomit, please. But uh, I'll be back. You know, that's how I am. I'll be back. <laughs> Because, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll give them a pass. Maybe they uh, maybe they ate, ate Thai or Mexican. Maybe they didn't. Uh, I really don't believe there's any excuse for that. No. And I'm saying this as a girl. There is no excuse. For the crusty box? For the crusty box. What if you just took a spinning class or something? Then I don't go over time. the guy's house. Go okay. take a shower. Take care of yourself. Okay. All right. And you clean down there, right? Yeah, just respect yourself. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a matter of self-respect, in my opinion. Right. Use the uh, big rubber glove with the uh, loofah hand on it. <laughs> I take the same glove that I use to prank test the cow yeah. and wash the box the with glove. it. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> wash the box. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know uh, you. let Thank me you. say this. What uh, wouldn't be a bad uh, thing. Uh, yeah. you, you know, they got these, and I'm sure you got this at your house. You live in a nice house. They have the showers that have just more than... Uh, uh, here's how you can judge how, how you're doing in life. <laughs> how many shower heads? How much water hits you when you get in the right, shower? That's right. When you when when you go when you live in some crappy apartment in Van Nuys, you got the uh, you, you got the you got the shower head, you got the water saver. Yeah. It's, it's like a drawer. I've heard that it was the hard water. What is hard water? <laughs> no, not hard water. Just no this water. Is just just this is the state issued water saver shower head. It's like a dwarf's pissing on you. That's it. It's just like some drunken dwarf is standing on the edge of the shower taking a leak on you. So it's like nothing. But when you got a few bucks, you get better shower head. But if you got real bucks, Waterfall. like Nicole over here, you get it coming from all sides. Yeah. You get the whole. You get the cascade from the left, from the right, from the top. What about a little action from the bottom? Well, they have bidets for that. I know, but why? Why bother hitting the bidet when you're in the shower already? How about a little, a little upward shot? Yeah, that's that's the, actually a good idea. You can that, dial it in, power at the, the bottom. That's <laughs> the point of the uh, removable shower. <laughs> <laughs> why should a, a important? He doesn't want to do it manually. He doesn't want to move his hands. He doesn't want to move his hands. Yeah, Here's all I'm saying. Once you get it, and I could use one for the back side of the box. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh man, could you? Oh yeah. Once you get those things going the right direction. You get a couple ones in there. So it goes up from the bottom and then the lower half of yeah. the side yeah, well, to you get the crap. Adam, you'd have to go to like a, one of those veterinary places and see what they use to hose the, Let's face the it, animals. I need, I need to be dunked. Yeah. Let's face it. But here, here's, here's what I'm saying. You get hit. You got the shower coming down on top mm-hmm. of your head. You mm-hmm. want to clean the crack or the sack or the, the trunk <laughs> or the chunk or the box or the off you gotta you, it's coming down your head you gotta do that like weird hand scoop thing and like uh, <laughs> scoop it up yeah you. you're giving yourself a, a mild enema you know you know what yeah, i mean just scoop it wouldn't it be nice just to have something Some shooting pressure. up from the from the you know 45 degrees it, 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 that might corner? be uncomfortable it's like something shooting up yeah, your you box well, I, I'm not talking about the and then there's PSI girls like that that won't get an orgasm because they'll just stand in their shower and get water shoved Ooh. up their box all day yeah. i wouldn't leave my shower no you wouldn't Oh, and that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look how clean you'd be. You never leave. I'm just saying, you get you get your uh, your box and your lunch too. Another one of your genius ideas. I'm just saying, shoot it, no. shoot it up. Yeah. Let's have it going up. I don't mean I don't mean directly underneath. It's an angle. And then you should an have angle. a button that someone comes and licks it after you're done. <laughs> your box. Be like test yeah. it out, dear. Yeah, yeah. sampler. <laughs> yeah. You uh, you have some and feeds you pizza. You eat the pizza and they lick the box. This is this is Ooh. why we need to get together. Oh my! We yeah. should invent you guys it. Should be married. We should yeah. invent it. Yeah, I'll just stay home thinking of new ways to clean the box all the, <laughs> all the 
all day. And then long. call me. Yeah, and we we get some hermaphrodite. Is like, this what the what the simple we, simple life servant. is about? This is what you guys talk about? <laughs> yeah, a servant. Just clean a, the cow's box. Hermaphrodite servant. You know, no sexuality. <laughs> no, just yeah, it's a eunuch. 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 You, you, yeah. You, you, yeah, and then just taste the box. And we'll get a food taster, too, just in case. All right. Rose, I need my own entrance. Okay. Rose, you're 55. Yes. What's happening, baby doll? Well, I just got married to this um, guy from Colorado, a little town in Colorado, mm-hmm. and he cross-dresses. Mm-hmm. And That's so hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I love it. Oh, you I like mean. that? I like that. And he makes videotapes. Of the two of you? No. um, We had domestic violence, and we were in jail. And Mm. while he was in jail, he met this whore from Denver. Whore from Denver. (laughs) And made a videotape with her. In in the joint or uh, when he got out? Did he go in as a female or as a male? Oh, he, he had a slip on. All right, hold on a second. Rose, you need to turn your radio down. Oh, I don't have a radio on. I have a TV. Let me turn it off. Okay. How, hold on a second. I, how? First off, how effing retarded do you have to be? Voice. How loud does your goddamn voice. TV have to be when you're on a national radio show? Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, you've got to be able to hear it while you're talking. Oh, right? She's watching God, something. We have the stupidest callers on the planet. Oh, She's dumb. You. Rose, Rose. I guess you haven't had any calls from Akron, Colorado. You'd have stupider people. Uh, Is that your husband you're talking about? Is your right. violent, violent cross-dressing, no-count husband? Well, no. Oh, so now, I don't know yeah. if he's a pervert, homosexual. No, well, you know that he, he met a woman who's actually a prostitute? Yeah, a whore. Wh- while in jail and made some films with her? Right, made a video. Okay, but okay. Let, let's ask a couple of quick questions. Mm-hmm. How does he get to meet the female population of the prison? Because we were just in holding cells. You, 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 were, you were there, too? There. Yeah, I was there, too. What did you guys do to each other? Domestic violence. What did you what, do? What? Just be, it's he fine. He broke windows of a car, and I went in and saw him and shook him. It was well, that's not. She shook him with a tire iron. A baseball bat. No. Yeah. All no. Right, so listen, no. Rose. Still, mm-hmm. they put everyone in a holding tank, uh, and they don't break you up uh, into sexes. It, not on this. We weren't in the same holding tank, but it's just a little hick town. All right. Well, you weren't in the same holding tank, but he was with the chicks, and you. Right. How did he get a video camera I, in the I, holding I, cell? He didn't have the video camera. The officers had the video camera. The this, this officers, together. yeah, right. no, 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 took no. your husband who no. cross-dressed you with the horror. You? You no, don't believe it. no, we don't. I swear it. It's true. Well, but. first off, you're you're borderline retarded and insane. So oh, whatever well. you sw- whatever you swear on doesn't mean anything. Well, I wasn't going to swear. All right, but here's here's the point. And I'm not borderline and retarded. All right, and then you're fully happen. retarded. You're actually. In the middle of retardville. No. Now listen listen I ain't to me. Retarded and I ain't retarded. Okay. <laughs> Rosie. Okay, now listen. What do you what do you guys do for money? What we do for money? Oh, what do you Hold on Hang a second. On. Always a bad sign. When they answer your question <laughs> with a, with the same question. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now the only thing worse than what do we do for money is right uh, now. R- r- yeah, r- right right uh, right now. Right now, okay, I predict uh, multiple jobs. He works Rose? on his mother's ranch. Works on his mother's ranch. Yeah, he's a little mama's boy, too. All right. And uh, her ranch is euf- euphemism Does he preg test the cows? Box, box, box. What? Yeah. Does he cross-dress while on the ranch? Is yeah. Is his mom okay does. with that? Uh, she don't know it. What would okay. you say about the cows? Why did you marry this guy? Because I didn't know it then. You didn't know anything about the abuse, no, the cross-dressing? Com- we met on the computer. Mm. Um, well, Are, you, did you, Rose, do you have some disability or something? Why? Do you have some disability or something? I'm on disability. For what? I have a few problems, um, an aneurysm. That doesn't put you on disability. Why are you on disability? That's why I'm on disability. No. What, kind, what kind of aneurysm? Uh, aortic. A thoracic, abdominal. Which? You're right, aortic abdominal. That aneurysm. does not put you on disability. My so kidney. why? Why? 
my Why kidneys you went- stopped and I had stents, but I didn't call about my. So med- you had you had an aortic okay. replacement and you went into kidney failure. Are you on dialysis right. now? No. Okay. And Hold that- on a second. And I, my only question. Is- don't they need her back at NASA? Well, we got a launch What's coming up in a few months. What's <laughs> the JPL's point? JPL's been uh, <laughs> oh, looking for Rose, listen yes. to me. Mm-hmm. I want you to get a divorce from this guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Why? He just wa- You know why? Why? <laughs> because he's an abusive, uh, alcoholic, cross-dresser, mama's boy. I never yeah. said he was abusive. How'd you know that? Because He's he just is. said domestic violence. Right. Right. Yeah. That, so that abusive. that would be categorized as abusive. Right. Give me a go, yeah. no go for lunch. Do you yeah. have no head injuries or anything like that, Rose, in your past? No. Nothing like no. that. No. But what happened? Were you abused as a child? Not that I know of. Really? Yeah. What did you do for a living before your aortic replacement? I was a supervisor for a bank. Really? Mm-hmm. A piggy bank a or a full-size <laughs> bank? I'm picturing a small bank. <laughs> no, a big bank. One of the really? major ones, yes. Wow. So All right. I have a brain, except when it comes to love, I right. think, with All my right. heart, and I'm an asshole. All right, but look, <laughs> look, Rose, look, I'm, I'm feeling bad now. We don't want to beat you up anymore, but here's the thing. Oh, you're not getting uh, me Listen, you're, you're, you're a capable person. Mm-hmm. You managed a big bank. Right. There's no reason you should be with this guy. Right. And, and by the way, mm-hmm. being... being uh, being without somebody's, and here's something that all you ladies need to hear. I think guys know it pretty good, but women don't know it. Is better to be alone than to be with an abusive, alcoholic, cross-dressing mama's boy. It, it really is just better to be on your own. Yeah. And and I think the the thought is as well. I don't want to be on my own because maybe no one else will have me. Right. Well, if no one else this bad has you, then so be it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. All right, so Rose, you're better than this. Yes, you just find a normal guy who can appreciate you. Yeah, that's it. Just move on. And listen, listen, the guy's like ten years younger too. That's when step up. Get a nice sixty-five-year-old guy. And you get older guy. Heavy smoker. Yeah, the, kicks off in two and a half years. Won't have that world to live anymore. Won't be, yeah. be going at you with a baseball bat, your car windows. Fine. No, Fine. The, the, his, the, for the forty-six-year-old, the car is still a emblematic of Rose. Right. He's beating the crap out of the car. Yeah. As yeah, the, though it were. The, yeah, the, this guy This guy just seems like um, very, very defective, uh. to say the least. All right, we're going to take ourselves a uh, little break. Nicole Richie's here from uh, The Simple Life, Fox, Tuesday nights, 8.30. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Nicole Richie's here tonight. What's up, guys? Nicole is uh, one of the stars, along with uh, Paris Hilton, of uh, The Simple Life, which is on uh, Fox Tuesday nights. You can uh, check that out tomorrow night, find out what all the uh, buzz is about. Did uh, amazing ratings last week, and uh, should, uh, should and two shows, both did great ratings. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, any, so what's next for you? Besides uh, promoting this? Um, well, right now I'm actually in the middle of shooting on The Eve Show. Um, I'm guest starring on it, so I was there all day today. I'll be all, I'll be there all day tomorrow, and um, then I'm going to start recording an album like in January after the New Year. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Piano, violin, and uh, cello. She's yep. telling uh, Drew she plays as well as uh, singing. Yep. Is is a uh, if you can play the uh, violin pretty good, does it help you with the cello and vice versa? Um, they're actually kind of different. I, I mean, I can't play guitar at all. Cannot play guitar to save my life. Oh, really? Cannot play it. All right, but this one's, uh, no one plays the, uh, uses the bow to play the guitar, except for... But they're uh, Robert, string instruments. Robert, uh, playing, or, uh, who, who, who plays it for, uh, Page. Robert Page? Yeah, you know, <laughs> when he's yeah. doing a guitar solo for Led Zeppelin, Drew. Wow. Get hip, gets the bow out. Jimi Hendrix played with his teeth. Yeah, Hendrix played with his teeth. I didn't know uh, Anderson yelled the Hendrix, but uh, he didn't play with his... Uh... Jimmy Page. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I say Robert Page? Yeah, we both were. Right. No. True, you're no help. Yeah. All right, uh, where are we? Going back to the phones? Speak to uh, Heather, who's uh, 22. Heather? Hi. Hi. Hi, Heather. How are you? Good, how are you? Great, I went to the U of A. You did? Yeah. When, what years did you go there? Yeah. I graduated in 02. Wait, so we were in the same year? 
Yeah, um, well, I was in theater. I don't know. Like, what was you, your major? I was, I was a dance major and an English major. I was a double major. Oh, cool. But, I mean, did I, did I hang out with you ever? Um, no, I don't think so. Like, but um, I hung out with a girl. Well, she was... But, oh. I don't know. Right. Heather, like, pull over. Your, phone, your, your phone's cut, cutting you. in and out. you got to pull over. Oh, okay. All right. Pick a, pick a cell. All right, so go ahead. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, okay, I have this question for you guys. Okay, I'm 23, and I'm dating this guy, and he's about 40. He's almost 40. That's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is the thing. We don't ever have sex. Ooh, that's not good. Why not? Like, okay, four times this year. I kept track. Since when? What, this, this year? year. Started, the two weeks ago this year, or what? No, this from year. January. Since January? Like, this like year. This year. How, how, I understand. I'm just four times this year. <laughs> in you know what's so weird is I have friends that have these older boyfriends and mm. they don't have sex. Let me ask you a question. Are no. you hot? Be honest. Well, I mean, I'm like. Hold fuck. on a second. I love that. <laughs> Are you hot? <laughs> Be honest. No, I mean, not, you know, it's no one knows it's her. So I'm just saying, like, just, oh, yeah. just. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. asking this for a reason. So just be is honest. Your, Are you not, hot? Yeah. Not to be like snobby or anything, but I think I look pretty good. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just saying that there's some. If I were a guy, I would do me. <laughs> that just kind of like. Box? Yeah. Crusty that box? just kind of use girls as their kind of handbags, almost. You yeah. know, just kind of like arm candy. Mm-hmm. Is he a yeah, businessman? Well, Friends, but like I don't know. I'm just saying, like that's my that maybe. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying, like I know friends that are, that go out with older men, and it's really not about them having sex with you. It's about them showing you off and saying, "Look at this young hot tail that I've got with me." Well, it's an interesting point because eighty percent of a lot of guys going out with women is who how people perceive them. It really is, sadly. Not who they marry, but who they go out with, yeah. and oftentimes who they marry. I, somebody said to me, hang on a second, Heather. Somebody said at work the other day, if you landed on some planet where uh, nailing uh, big fat chicks was, was considered the pinnacle, how long would it take you to make the transition? They would do it. And it's like, I was like, yeah, six months. You, you know what I mean? I mean, here's the deal. Here, uh, all, all I'm saying is, is you're on some planet and everything shifted completely. I understand. All of a sudden, the Claudia Schiffers of the world are just the uh, sea hags, you know? Now, you'd hit it with a certain amount of momentum. Drew, a man of exquisite passion like yourself, would mow over couple, several hundred dozen of the Claudia Schiffer. You work your way all the way through, like the Victoria's Secrets catalog. But but meanwhile, guys are ridiculing you. Like, oh, my, Drew, what are you doing? You're a doctor. You don't need to be with that. I mean, it's weird. If this 40-year-old man was secure with himself, then he would be dating a woman his age, be having healthy sex with her. I think that maybe he's very, very insecure with himself. I don't know what he does for a living. Yeah. And he's probably not that good in bed. And he doesn't want, you know, he's not secure with himself to have a healthy relationship with you. He just wants to show you off and say, look who I am and look I, what I, I've got. To me, I think that's so bizarre. I almost wonder if he's a beard. Ooh. She's a beard. You mean gay. Yeah. Heather. Yeah. Yeah? You think he may be gay? No, you know what? I was wondering that. Like, I talked to my sister. She's, like, my best friend. And she's like, well, maybe he's gay or maybe he, like, cheats on yeah. you. But he right. doesn't. Well, those, those are the options. Those, no, uh, no, I, 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 yeah. Shut so, up, Jordan. You see the same other girl, not multiple cheating. other people. No. Yes. Multiple, no. Not cheating, but seeing other people. She just, look, seeing 30 people. Look, yeah. If he's cheating, if he's a horny guy, he's banging the bejesus out of his 22-year-old he's got at home That's and nailing a secretary. He's not yeah, I actually don't think he's cheating. Months. I actually think that he might be okay. gay. Yeah, gay doesn't gay know anything. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you know gay. what? Okay, this is the thing. Like, yeah. He's not really that good either, but I wouldn't tell him that, and I, and okay. I would never. He's, like, not, he's probably not into it. Look, what's in it? what's in it for you? Well, okay, so I live with him, and, like, I don't know. Oh, my God. I was just going to say that. <laughs> what does he he has do? money, and you get to live with does him. He, does he have a good life? What's he do for a living? Well, we have, like, a boat, and he's um, a district manager of, like, this um, company, you know. And okay. Heather, and biggest mistake boat. of your life is to stay with somebody because it's comfortable and because you have a home and a boat, because you are not going to be happy. You're yeah. just not. Plus, you live, in, you're, you live in Palm Springs. Where do you launch a boat? Oh, oh, we have it at Dana Point. Oh, okay. So you have another house right. there. All right. Eh, eh, he's got so, a place I mean, at Dana go Point. Yeah, Adam will take him, take him on. I'll blow him three times a year to get in the boat <laughs> in that place. I'll just I, prom I promise you, you are not going to be happy. And right now, you're 22. You're young. You're hot, supposedly. Now is the time to go and get a real <laughs> man that's going to lick the box. Yeah. And 
that you're going to be happy with. That's Don't right. waste your time. I promise you. There's a lot, you know, there are a lot of rich straight men, actually, that you can go after. Move to L.A. Yeah. Yeah. You're hot. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> In theory, you're a good seven and a half. Then move to L.A. Get the box like. Uh, okay. But here, here's the thing, too. Here's the thing. He's got a same. boat. You're living with him. You can have a com before you break it off. You can have a conversation with him and say, "What is Look, up? What 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 is going on?" I mean, it, 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 don't take any of this. Well, like that no. is Abby normal. It is abnormal. But, but no, but he he could be depressed about could, something. Could be on depression all medicine. All his ex wife committed suicide right. or That's something. That's right. Could we be on depression medicine. Everything. Could be diabetic or something. But the point is though. Get, don't take this. Well, you know, older guy. No, it's BS. It's a that's lot of BS. baggage for a 22-year-old, though. Let it's me, like regardless of the reason, I th just really think that you should get out of it, and I think you're staying in it for the wrong reasons. Let me tell you something about uh, Dr. Drew Nicole. He's a man in his early 40s and is exquisitely passionate. You know, he's got a motor. You know, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's... Uh, he could do you right. You're scaring her now. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just, that's why he's Then why is he sitting all the way over there by you? No, I'm He's scared kidding. of what well, <laughs> he could release. He didn't say which direction I go, particularly. I mean, yeah. do you guys get what I'm saying? I yeah, really think that absolutely. she's in this relationship because it's comfortable, and right. that's not the right reason to be in a relationship, especially when you're 22, and now is the time. Go out there and grab somebody. That's right. Find while a you're still guy. hot. You may maybe get a while bigger boat. While you're still hot. While you're still hot. Because <laughs> at 24, Allegedly. the wheels Allegedly. come off the wagon. Your skin hangs, <laughs> up, hangs on you like a boiled chicken. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Everybody, it's Loveline, I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Nicole Richie's our guest tonight from The Simple Life. What's up? Tuesday nights, uh, 8 30 on uh, Fox. And um, so uh, you, uh, so you, now, where does Paris live? Does she live in uh, LA? Yeah, she you lives both in, live LA. in LA. She lives with her sister. And uh, you guys hang out. And really, didn't. See, here's what I'd be. I'd have an ass full of whoever I had to do this with for a month. Oh my God! We, we wouldn't. I just imagine out. you. Yeah, you hang with anybody for like a week, oh, like, all the time. But but all the time, you know what I mean? You you, yeah. you need your you need to be Since aware. But really it's not really like we're new friends. We're like sisters. I mean, we have known each other for so long, and we've spent that amount of time together. Before, doing other before, things. Before, you know what I mean? Didn't she grow up in New York? She did, but she didn't move there until we were about 14. Oh. She grew up in New York, but she didn't move there until Well, that's growing 14. up. You're still growing up at 14, 13, 14. So she finished grew, growing up in, in New York. She, she lived in L.A. She lived in L.A. From 0 to 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or 13. And then went to New York. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. So you had all that. And yeah. then uh, I'm sure uh, you guys traveled quite a bit, went back and yeah. forth. Yeah. Oh, tell us the most decadent story. <laughs> now, now here's what I'm saying. Don't don't brag. But what I'm saying is, is tell us a good story about being 17 and you in Paris, being in uh, Istanbul, uh, eating uh, grapes off a virgin or something. You, you know what I mean? Anything good? Any sheiks? Any uh, princess? Any royalty? That kind of stuff. Yachts. Give me a good yacht. Give me one good yacht story. You know, I actually, I really hate going on yachts. I don't like being plane. on... Plane. How about a plane story? No, I want a yacht story. story. You don't like yachts, but you've been on them. I really don't. I don't know if I don't like yachts, Drew. Isn't that sad? Yeah. I to be that. honest with you, like, yeah. my favorite place going is Switzerland, which is so random. It's so random, but I love it. Why? What's random about it? It sounds it's like a nice like place. It's just like who, like, just so many people would say, like, Paris or... Right. Or, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Which right. part is it? The, the, the French or the German or what part of Switzerland? German. German. Part. German. There's a little town called Harrisau, Switzerland that I used to go up every year and I would I would uh, train up there. But train for skating. Ice skating. But we would spend what, the what weekends. My my daughter's not skating. Oh She's really? Where is she skating? Pre pre at uh, no. Pickwick. Oh really? Yeah. I skated in Culver. You uh so, yeah but she, she, how far did you get in the hole? Weevilla. I was I was I was nationally competing. Wow! Yeah, it, it, as, a, as a uh, what do they call it? Uh, what are the, the women's levels? Senior, powder puff. As a senior level. Oh. Senior, powder puff. 
I don't know. There's a hundred levels in skating. It's crazy. Right. Well, it's actually, at, at the end, sto- started getting into uh, to uh, ice dancing, but then I just stopped after that. So All right. You went to Switzerland to uh, train. Right, but we would spend the weekends in Zurich, and it was just so beautiful. I and, and loved it there. Did you skate outdoors, or was it all indoors? It stuff? was indoors. The only outdoor rinks have been in Idaho, Sun Valley, Idaho, and Lake Arrowhead, mm. which is really cool. Yeah. the sun gets in your eyes, and it's a little, it's a little brutal at times. Sure. Wow. All right, so uh, Switzerland. No good yacht stories? No. So you're doing triple jumps and Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't have all my triples, but I did have Double some. toes and mm-hmm. triple sows and all that stuff. It was hot. Yeah. Wow. And then, uh, Drew, don't don't get your daughter all crazy with the skating. She's going to get an eating disorder. And what? And you what, stay what do you wanna... skinny skating. There's really no, it's, yeah, it's not to. really like a model up. thing. Yeah, you got to throw up all the time. Hey, you're going to screw up, Drew. Just leave her alone with it. And your, your crazy wife's going to go nutty with the skating thing. Tell her to relax I a little. I think that you that should stuff. allow your daughter to do what she wants to do, and I think that if you don't push her, then she'll want to do it. I mean, I know that my parents never pushed me to do anything, and they put me in the in the piano and the acting and the singing, and I just happened to love it, so I just continue to do it. And then right. I got to an age, you know, where I was 18 and I was good at all this stuff and my parents were like, okay, well, you're going to have to decide what you want to do. But at least I had all of that background to kind of fall back on and That's not take stuff some you time. can start at 16. Yeah, it's like you can't start it. It's better to just do it when you're young and if she likes it, she likes it. If she doesn't, then she won't do it. All right. So no good, uh, no good yacht stories. No. Private jet stories. What about royalty stories? Any like, chic guys, you know, Arab princes, that kind of stuff. Um... I mean, I've met, like, Prince mm-hmm. Charles. Prince Charles, really? Yeah. Is How's... that exciting? Yeah, I guess. It's better, I haven't than, met, better like, than most. My mom's friends with some of those, like, Saudi Arabian. I mean, I don't know. There's yeah. so many out there, though, so I don't yeah. really know. Yeah, they're all the same guy. And uh, what the what the uh, Prince Charles, how was he? He was hot. Really? He was mm-hmm. hot? Really hot? Yeah. He's got a certain way about him, right? He does. A, a presence. I mean, he's royalty, you know? Right. All right. Did, did you go on his yacht? Will you stop with the yacht? No, yachts. no. I right. didn't go you don't like on yachts. a yacht. All right. I'm a yacht guy, bro. I, see that. I didn't know guy. that. I've if I ever go on a yacht, I will call you from there at 10 at, o'clock. At the yacht? Uh, okay. And call I will us, call, call you. Us, call us, call us, go on. Hey, uh, I had a decision to make when I was 18. I could go with the decorative <laughs> popcorn tin or I go with the yacht. I want popcorn tin, and I, and I well, stand by that. Well, because the tin you can use over and over, so you can crap it. Uh, evidently. Can you bring the tin on the yacht with you? Ah, you took, you took it everywhere. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Travel with it. It's my huggy tin. Mm. Jacob? Yeah. You're 17? Jacob. Yeah. I got you Germany ha- or Florida for you. Germany or Florida? Yeah. Here's how uh, the game goes. Um, all bizarre news comes out of either Germany or Florida. He tells the story. We decide. Germany or Florida? Play the theme song, Anderson. Germany or Florida? Oh, that's uh, Tori Amos. That's Amos. Amos. Yeah, doing it in the ebony or uh, ivory. Uh. Yeah, we have a celebrity uh, theme song here. Jacob. Oh, wait a minute. Put him on hold. Germany of Florida. Oh, that's, uh, that's pink. Jacob. Jesus. Yeah. All right, so what is it? Give us a story. All right, first of all, I got to say that you, you got to use your theme song, man, because I think that one's the best, undoubtedly. My, my theme song? The original one. The one that you sang? The original. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Jacob. Thanks. All right. Um, Whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. A 31-year-old man checked himself into a hospital because he had been experiencing severe stomach cramps and he hadn't been able to feciate for over two weeks. All right. So feciate, after that's. Uh, I was just gonna say, what's feciate? That's what I did. The, that's what I did in a popcorn tin. Yeah. It was. All right. Crap. And, uh, right. After uh, several x-rays, the doctor found that at a party two weeks previous, he had somehow ingested a condom filled with alcohol. So the doctors had to surgically go in and cut a hole in the condom uh, so it would let the alcohol leak out, and then the condom passed through the rectum two days later. All right, hold on a second. Let's talk here. First off, wouldn't a condom be disintegrated by your stomach acid eventually? In a couple yeah, of weeks. I'm thinking the, the condom didn't go, go down from above. Oh, rectal. Somebody rectal. put it in. Oh, oh, condom full of alcohol. Oh, yeah. shoved up the... Uh, 
Oh, because he said it was in the stomach. He had abdominal pain. But would it still pain. come out because, you know, when you go in jail and those drug addicts, they shove drugs up their Body ass packers, with the... Yeah. 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 So you do, you can... But there, you there are, it's out, not yeah. uncommon for those guys to need to have surgery. You got to leave a tampon so straight. This guy's learned a, the hard way. This, guy's, this, oh, is, this, is, way. this is some weird yeah. distortion of a body packing story. Okay. And they, they, they need to do operations on those. I, I, I remember when, when I was at County USC in the early 80s we were the first cases were starting to come across the board and we were like what is you know we'd see these x-rays of these little packages and like what the f is going on guy swallowing condoms filled with heroin yeah that kind of that's body really packing. hot yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so uh so, Germany so, or florida? so it sounds like it's a smuggling thing it sounds like florida florida yeah we're going florida yeah florida all right let's see jacob yeah germany uh, or florida Germany. Oh, really? Yeah, it actually, he actually did it while uh, during Oktoberfest. Mm, so, Drew, it's not a smuggling thing. So what was he trying to do? I guess just to get giggles. I don't know. It's yeah. not funny. Was he laughing? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, you can't decide what's funny. For you, it could be, um, I don't know, uh... You, you know, you you could like a good movie for this guy could be uh, packing uh, booze-filled uh, condoms up his rear end. Who's, uh, who's the judge? That's right. It's all, That's right. It's all you good. got your Chris Rock. He's got his condoms filled with shit. So there you go. Up the there ass. Go. Yeah. All right. So we we lost. Yeah, lost one. It's been it's been a while. Wes. Yeah. Your fourteen. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Wessie. Um, my dad told me that uh, smoking weed made like your nipples bigger. <laughs> well, not just your nipples, it makes your breasts enlarge, particularly around your age. Oh, Man, yeah. not women so much. Uh-huh. Yeah. It'll, it'll like give you... Boy, breasts. You, yeah. You right. got the, you got the, you're smoking pot every day. I can hear it in your voice. Uh, and, sort of. For the yeah. last like, yeah. week, I've yeah. been hitting it pretty hard. Well, yeah. it, it's affecting you, and it's obvious in how you're talking. But be that as it may, it's real common in your age group. So There can be a breast enlargement at your age anyway, because the... Uh, Adrenal glands yeah. are putting out some hormones before the testes really yeah. take over. Mm-hmm. But marijuana makes that all worse. I, and, like, uh, two days ago, I found, like, this little bump under my nipple. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, like... So we're talking about... Hey, Wes. Yeah. L- listen to me. First off, guys named Wes are always idiots. So you got to watch out for that. Oh. you got to battle against that Wes thing. All right? The pot's not, it's a pot's going to be Now you got the pot thing... You're really just going to well, turn Well, he chose Wes. I'm sure his name is Wesley. That, that's what I'm saying. No, it's bad Weston. Choice. Weston. Even Ooh, Weston's worse. cool. Yeah. You should go by Weston. Yeah, go by Weston. Weston right. girls. He's from Colorado, too. It sounds like a guy with a lambskin coat riding a horse. Right. Yeah. Like the Marlboro Man, except no, for you got a hash pipe and instead a of a bong, cigarette. And a bong and yeah. strapped to his waist. All right, so Weston. Yeah. Listen to me. You're 14. You don't need to be getting high. That's right. for the big boys. <laughs> it, it it really here's what it does. Okay, here's here's what people don't realize. The pot, whenever you start smoking it, and look, I've smoked smoked my share of weed. I, I don't care. But here's the point: you start smoking at 13, and you start smoking solid t- till you're 23, and you'll just be 13 at 23. You oh, just yeah. stop, you where, stop wherever it is. That is actually true. Isn't it's a proven fact mm-hmm. that you, you stop developing. Stop developing the day you pot start doing is, drugs. Pot, uh, yes, that's true. And pot is one that's notorious for doing this. In fact, there's some evidence that it, it doesn't allow the growth of the frontal areas of the brain that are responsible for the growth and development after. And, and then here's the thing. First off, you pull these moronic moves all the time where you just screw up and you forget about things. You don't get anything done. But you never chalk anything up to the weed. Of course not. It's always just, uh, you know, you don't you, you know certain things that you get fixated on th- there's certain certain topics that you're into and you're genius on, but you don't know anything else. And things never seem to be going right. You just it, never, you're never eh, living your nothing, f- nothing, s- nothing sticks. Nothing you sticks. you got a Teflon brain. Everything yeah. just skims by. You don't seem to remember anything. You don't know anything, but you'll never blame it on the weed. Well, you know I, what's so funny is he doesn't want to hear this from you guys right no, now, and I, I promise know. you that he probably will not listen to you until it's too late. I know. I've been there, I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. Where have you been? You've been to Switzerland <laughs> on an ice skating scholarship. What do you know from pot smoking? You did some drugs, though, right? I, oh, yeah. I did dabble in a little drug. No more? You done? I'm done. Really? I'm Recovery? Done. Recovery? Recovery. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing I think if you are uh, you come from privilege, it's really hard to escape. Oh, but I'll tell you, I was in, I could not be in more denial. Nothing. I was just, you know, 
oh, this isn't happening. Don't worry about it. No big deal. I didn't realize it until I was arrested, until I was thrown in jail, until I had to go there. And it wasn't until I got out and mm -hmm. until I was like, you know, even I started to even get better that I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe my life wasn't so good then. Once you're in it, you can't even see it. You're lucky you surrendered, though, even then, because most people have to go to some sort of pace of terror before they're willing to surrender. Arrested and thrown in jail. It happens. Wow. Were you driving or something? How'd you get arrested? Um, yeah. You're driving. Yeah. <laughs> and so you got arrested. Basically, it's like a DUI, right? Um, no, I did have Possession. a DUI, but I didn't have a license, and I was driving, and I I got pulled over for something else. Right. For something like a, I don't know, whatever, a light. I don't know. Who cares? Right. But I got pulled over, and... Uh, you know, I got, got, got caught with possession. Oh, so oh how much? Now, what'd you have? Heroin? I had heroin. What'd how you, much did you have? True. Let me ask a good question. What so how much you sober, Danny? Well, get to the sobriety, you jack off. Just quiet down. How much did you have on you? I didn't have it on me, actually, but it was it was a balloon. Ah. Oh, it was like in the car somewhere? It was in the car. It wasn't even my car, actually. It's, did did, it's they, just, did it's, they search the car just because they thought you were high? No. To be honest with you, I was lazy and um, didn't feel I was outside on the phone and I didn't feel like um, getting my board. getting my ID out. I didn't have an ID. I had like a school ID. Right. And so I just asked the cop. I said I was too lazy. I was like, just go in my car and get my ID. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens? But I'm just telling you, I mean, honestly, right. to be honest with you, it's like I was actually going to rehab anyway, but I really do believe that if I didn't have these consequences to deal with after, when I mean, I'm still dealing denial. with them right now, I probably would have gotten out and said, okay, I'm better, let me just it, it go back. It wouldn't have surrendered. It wouldn't have broken through the denial. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I have to s sit there and, like, face these consequences every day, which, I mean... You know, it's so weird because I see these kids and I'm I'm telling you like that was so me that it will not happen, that it's all good, it's not a big deal, and I'm telling you, it just mm, so they kicks found, your ass. They found the balloon of heroin when they went in to go uh, look for your ID that you uh, commanded them to. <laughs> go get your own I didn't ID. command. I was just I lazy. Imagine a cop going, uh, can I see some ID? Uh, yeah, hey. Uh, <laughs> It's in the glove box. No, 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 no. Hello. I knew that I'm I was going to get arrested because I didn't have a phone. license. So I was like, I, mean, I was on PCH. So I was like, you know, do you mind if I go use my cell phone? And they're like, yeah, no problem. Oh, I see. All right. PCH is not a drug, by the way. That's uh, Pacific Coast Highway out here in uh, Malibu. Sober so, date? Yeah, sober date. Uh, I don't like to talk about that. All right. How, you, you got, you got more in like a week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got sober back in March. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. You don't want to jinx it by saying the date. And, uh, well, I just don't really like to, to get that much into it because... It's up to you, but yeah. it's, it's tough to have two months later head off to Arkansas. You're trying to it was very tough, and I'll tell you, it really tested... It really tested Did they um, let you contact your sponsor? Were you going to meet yeah, 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 yeah. I could contact my sponsor yeah. every Her day. sponsor was Mr. Haney. Yeah, it's Arnold. a little green, Mr. Right. Zippel. A little green acres, Mr. Zippel, uh, reference. Right. But I mean, if you think about it, it's Arkansas. Well, I guess you know, yeah, whatever. I mean, I agree. It's it's oh, not very. They got drugs everywhere. Yeah, they got that hillbilly heroin. Where do you think that's from, Drew? All right. Arkansas. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, you, you finish. Uh, so you get. Uh, you go to jail. How how long do you go to jail? I don't know, like an hour or something. Jail, uh, jail yeah. not prison. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. You just you just go to the tank and. Uh, and well, I was out. facing prison. I mean, I I think that this right. is important for me to say because you know it's like you guys think that this isn't going to happen to you. It happened to me in a matter of six months. I was arrested three times, put in jail. I had to have a friend bail me out. I've been to rehab twice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like. You never think that this is going to happen to you until it happens to you, and then you're over it, and you then you may hopefully start to realize how dangerous this stuff is. Yeah, you know, it's like your life. You're going a hundred miles an hour. Of course, you're not going to see everything. I don't. I don't necessarily well, also, think it's you, anybody's you fault. You were very tied up in being perfect. You had the ice skating and the music, and then you're very, very. And that caught me. I got really caught up in that too because I was really good at everything I did. So on the outside, I was kind of okay. Mm -hmm. And I had this going on and that going on, and I really didn't stop doing anything. Well, I guess towards the end I did. Mm -hmm. But um, and also, uh, do you feel it too? And and by the way, it's a good thing that you got this out of the way because a lot of people can drag this out well into their thirties. Oh, oh I know. You know? Are you kidding? Well into their thirties, yeah. yeah. Because they don't know. Yeah, they don't but, get it. But I mean, do you? They you, don't you, get you it. know the uh, they say the devil makes work for idle hands. Do you feel like uh, a little too much time mixed with too much cash? She didn't have time. She's ice skating six she hours a day. She's in Switzerland. Time. What do you mean? She had time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Double major. 
But you don't, Three instruments. Don't, don't you shut up, Drew. Don't defend the guests. I was I'm keeping asking busy. a question. I was, de- I was keeping busy. It, it could have been, you know, I really don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. I, I think it's a misconception that time is the, an issue. No. Here's, I really don't think that time is an issue. No. I think it's just a matter of wanting to be out of your element. And you know what? You know what's so crazy now is that now that I don't have all those things that I can't remember and, and whatnot, the thought of not being all there and as sharp as I'm capable of being is just so scary because you're missing out. Yeah. So why would you want to be alive and be half dead while you're alive? It's like you can you can do well, that stuff when, I, you, when you're done. I agree, except for, except for not with booze. I like to have a little buzz going. You but may- Drew, let me, hold on. Let me say something about this, which is uh, I, I had my uh, share friends who uh, got, got into drugs and dabbled and did their thing. Oh, yes. And, and a lot of them, a lot, a lot of them were so tied up with existing, meaning they were making eight bucks an hour and they had to work 50 hours a week, that they, the second they got some free time and some free cash, they always went AWOL. They always spun out. Yeah. You know, the, their circumstances kept them in line. They had mm-hmm. to work. They didn't have any money. They didn't really have the means. And if you would have taken any of these guys, given mm-hmm. them a couple credit cards, that. an yeah, expense yeah. account, and a little time, they would have immediately blown themselves up with the drugs. There's something to that. Uh, immediately. And that's what I'm talking about, yeah. this sort of devil uh, making yeah, yeah. work for the idle hands. Thank you. All right, let's take a call. But yeah. that was very, re- very uh, revealing, and we appreciate your candor, by the way. It's no nice. No problem, Bob. All right. Uh, Jeanette. Drew, no more questions? Yes, but you won't let me ask them. Oh, I listen. <laughs> uh, here's the problem. I try to ask a, a probing question, and you rush in and defend, and don't let the person answer the question like you're the goddamn attorney. She tires of us fighting. Let's go. All right. Idiot. Let's talk to uh, Jeanette. Jeanette? Yeah. What? You're 16. Yeah. What's up? Um, I'm having a problem. I have I have this guy that I've been friends with for like three months, and me and him got to be like really good friends. Like he would come over to my house every day and everything, mm-hmm. and I began to like him. How old is he? How old, he is nineteen. How'd you meet him? Uh, kind of like a hangout place in a small town kind of thing. Like a club thing, a night thing, or a day yeah, thing? Yeah, like a night thing. Oh. I think a more old quarry. Okay. So it's not like this guy went to your high school or something. You knew him. Yeah, I knew him from there. So from high and school. And now he's like beginning to like one of my friends that I introduced him to. Mm-mm. And I told him that I liked him and stuff, but he's like, "Oh, we're just friends. We're just friends." And and like he's mess. He's like tried to mess around with me. You know. You're just friends, Jeanette. Take oh. his word for it. Believe me, there's no interest. And you know what? Friends. That's actually a good thing that he's respecting you enough to say we're just friends because he could probably take advantage. Just take advantage of yep. you and then leave you. So that's actually a good thing that he's respecting you enough to say we're just friends. Well, he's trying to mess around a couple of times. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying as a guy, if a yeah. girl he's, throws he's not, himself at you yeah. enough times, I mean, he's yes. not a robot. He, he could, will say, he could okay. Use, he, could, he could use you, and he's so far not. But yeah, I, I but think like, that means he has respect for you. Yeah, uh, like uh, no, a, no, 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 no. Just, just he's not attracted. She's not that's attracted to you. That's all that means. It's not respect. Okay. I mean, he has more respect. I mean, he could just no. he could. He, he's, he's, he's not. A, he's not he, an he does evil respect guy. you as a friend. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he's not a bad guy. Okay. And he's well, not attractive. Why do I always get this? I'm always the girl that you know, like I'm like one of the guys. I always hang out with all the guys. All right, hold on yeah. a second. First okay. off, you're 16, so you can't play the why do I always get thing yeah. until you're 19. No. Or 20. <laughs> or 20. Because you've been dating for uh, 14 months now. You're 16 years old, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Relax. So d- here's the thing. Uh, I, everyone makes these proclamations when they're 16. Why am I always the one? You're not. You're 16. It's an awkward time. Some of it is just uh, happenstance. You don't. The right guy is going to the wrong high school. You're going to the other one. You miss each other. Yeah. Don't. 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 Here's the thing. Do not announce that you're cursed mm-hmm. at 16. Don't make that proclamation. It's don't not, don't it's proclaim not a great anything plan. at 16. Just, yes. Just go with it. Just try to get your grades decent and go off to some cool place to go to college, and it'll all work itself out. Yeah. That That's really what you need to do. And and here's the thing. From, uh, from uh, you know, the 7th grade to the 12th grade, all bets are off. All you got to do is uh, don't kill yourself. Don't get strung out on drugs and uh, get your grades decent enough to go off to some cool college. And then you can start focusing on the dating and all that stuff. And, and look, you got to understand, though, if a guy's not interested, he's not interested. Period. Yeah, and that whole like mis- mixed message thing where he goes, well, I you know I like you too much, dude. No, 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 no. Nineteen-year-old guy, 
it's game on. He'll if let you know. If it's not game on, he ain't interested. Right. Plain and simple. Yes? Yep. All right. Yep. We'll take ourselves a little break. Nicole Ritchie here tonight from The Simple Life, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 LOVE 191. Nicole Ritchie is here tonight. The Simple Life is the name of the show. Tuesday nights, 8 30 on uh, Fox. <laughs> Love that music so now. You can't go wrong with the Green Acres. Uh, all right. And, uh,. Just because it's going to make us feel uh, super old. Were you, were you uh, guys hip to uh, Green Acres before um, you did the show? I mean, I show? watched. They had Nick at night, so I right. watched it late at night if I was in, up at 3 in, in the morning. In preparation for this show? or No, 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 no. I'm saying it. I've seen it when oh, I was okay. younger. Okay. So you're hip. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so Mr. Ziffel is a character you would know. And that's the thing. No, I no. wouldn't know any of the characters. Mr. If I watched Ziffle. it now, I mean, I'm sure it's still on now. I just don't yeah. really watch a lot of television. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad, Mr. Haney. Mr. Haney, yeah. He was the alcoholic, right? He was, he was the... He was uh, He was a traveling salesman. The barber loosely Mr. was... Mr. Ziffle had the pig. But who was the barber? I don't know. Kind, kind of... Oh, oh, yeah. Well, then you're thinking <laughs> like of Floyd. Like Floyd from, the barber. No, but that's from Mayberry. Mayberry, you're right. You're right. right, buddy. You're right. You're ready to rock? Ken? Wasn't there an alcoholic in uh, Green Acres? <laughs> uh, hey, I don't know. It used to be funny to be an alcoholic. They yes. put it in sitcoms. They, right. they do the two jokes where it's like <laughs> they do that uh, make mine a double joke where the guy was having a hard day. Yeah. And, and, and all of a sudden, by the way, there was a fair amount of boozing in these shows. Like, I, here's, the one, here's the move I like. There was a time in the 60s and the 70s when that little mobile bar <laughs> had wheels <laughs> on it and a little push cart type bar was a popular piece of it was like a piece of furniture yes. it'll be and the guy i always like this the guy would walk through the front door throw his jacket on the sofa oh man stressful day walk right over the bar open the ice bucket and it'd be piled high with fresh yeah, ice like yeah. who's in charge of uh filling the ice bucket all day mm-hmm. right. can you imagine keeping a friend how much of an alcoholic would you have to be to actually have an ice bucket that was just heaping with ice be thinking about that yeah, yeah. and it was never addressed and there'd be a note from his wife she's by the way that, those days they didn't have ice makers it would be it'd be trays they'd be spilling into that right it just it was like it was one of these sitcom realities where it was like hey it's an ice bucket it's got to have ice in it as if it came with ice right and uh yeah, and he'd probably, guys would just start making themselves cocktails every you know it's highball hour a couple of uh well, Larry Tate would be drinking at work yeah that was uh bewitch that was the boss and bewitch and yeah he'd be he'd be drinking martinis at lunch <laughs> also and um, Ricky from Lucy and Ricky wasn't he yeah. a huge alcoholic yes. oh, everyone 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 drank uh just uh Big they time. drank at work and stuff yeah, I like that. Guys, uh, guys would have bottles in their uh, desk. That was the other thing too, like a like a police chief or something. Would, like after a tough day, just like you know, pop open some scotch. Guys had flasks and stuff. Ever, was everyone drunk back then? Where's my <laughs> bourbon? <laughs> All right. I just the uh, I, the two jokes I like. I like to make mine a double joke, and I like the joke too, where the uh, wino sees something incredible, like uh, bewitched, like blinks into a uh, alley where he's drinking and he looks at the bottle and he looks at her and then he dumps it out and shakes his head because that's what they do drew you know I, what i'm saying every time yeah <laughs> if, if you ever one of your patients was amazed by something they would immediately throw away the drugs yeah of course ken yeah kenny you're 20 yeah yeah what's happening uh my uh, penis is normally curved i think to the mm-hmm. left there to Almost the left like, uh, half you... shaft broke or something you, you should pierce it. You dress to pierce the left. It. Do you like a pierced uh, Pepe? Uh, I don't know about piercing. No, I can't. Hold on a second. <laughs> you can. <clears throat> I'm asking Nicole. Nicole? Um, I've actually never seen one, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying if it is a little off, I think you should like work the offness, you know? I see. I see. you got to put a barbell down the axis and straighten it out. Right. But here you can. The deal is, uh, have you traumatized it at all? Did something happen? Uh, not that I can think of. One of the things you can do is take about 800 units of vitamin E every day. This is what we call an acquired Peronis. In other words, you weren't born with this. This is something that's probably happening from trauma. Oh, really? It, like really? Oh, because why? Because it, it's gotten, he's seen it get worse. It's so, it's so. Well, and it, does it curve or does it sort of make a gooseneck move? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, uh, more like gooseneck, I guess. You know, so that, That's from the scarring over on that side where that's pulling it over there. And hmm. there are operations to repair it if necessary and uh, give it a little time. We'll see. All right, so take a bunch of vitamin E. 800 units of vitamin E daily will help it. 
It's true. How many pills is that? It's they come in eight hundreds or four hundreds usually. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, if I had a dork with a dog leg in it, I'd be mad. Mm. Matt? Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're Nicole's friend? Yep. Hey Maddie. What's up, baby? Well, listen, I don't have a sidewinder penis, but um what I'm calling in is, is I want your advice. See, I like you live in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And I had a girlfriend for like three years who I lost my virginity to at what, twenty twenty one. Yeah. And I broke up with her. I never really did the Hollywood scene. And when I broke up with her, I just kind of went mad and hit the Hollywood scene. Well, wait a minute. How old are you now? 23. 23. Yeah. Well, hold on. Hold on one se- second. Because we've done these before, and we always uh, make a-holes of ourselves. Now, yeah. do we need to know anything about this guy? Is he your ex-boyfriend? No, 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 But people set us up like this all the time, so we want to make sure we're not. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm not no. going to kill you, Ann, if this is some kind of nonsense. Mm-mm. No? No. No. All right. All right. All right, let's... Uh, Anything else we need to know about him? No, okay. he's pretty chill. Okay. All right. All right, so, Matt, your question... Now, how do you know Nicole, by the way? Um, I was actually sitting in the opposite room listening to you guys earlier. I'm, I'm in your conference room right now. Oh, okay, you're here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, can you get me a coffee? Yeah, sure, I'll get on the way out. All right, so... Uh, what's... So you started going crazy. So you, you came here with Nicole, then? Yeah, yeah. All right, All right. so, uh, hey, you yeah. broke up. You lost your virginity at 21. 21 to a 29 year old former model who I used to beat off to posters on my wall. So it was kind of a strange relationship. Really? Who? Jesus. Who was that? I'm not going to name names. Come on. I'm going to hang no. up on you. No. All right. That's it. <laughs> Listen, you can't, you can't say I used to beat off to a model with pictures and uh, not give the name. All right. Let me try one more time. Matt? Matt? Yeah. You there? yeah. I got to know who she is. Her first name's Amber. That's all I'm going to tell you. Amber. And then Adam's, did you say Adam has met her? No, no, I said that's um, all he's going to tell me. He may have. I don't know. Huh. She's been around. She's, Jesus. She's a, big, she's a big model, and she's like 29 now. So, mm, But anyway, Amber. it's not the point. Uh, you guys there? Yeah, we're thinking. Yeah, we're thinking. All right, I, I think I'm going to put you back on hold. Okay. Well, what's his question? I, I got to get the last name. Well, the question is, is then after I went out, I went crazy. I got to get, I gotta get mad. I got to get the last name. All right, go take it up. All right. So here's the thing. You can't bring up I uh, bang this up, lost my Virginia the model that I had a poster of, not given a name. That's the way I go. They, you can't bring up. Here's, here's the sword here. You can't bring up the model. If you want to brag about banging a model, that's fine, but you got to give the name. You can't, do it, can't have it both ways. Drew, can you think of any Ambers? No. <laughs> Amber Valletta. Who's that? I don't know. It's what uh, Anderson says. Uh. Maybe, we got a, maybe we got a poster. You got a poster of her? No, I just want to Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get now. I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude to your friend Matt, but I gotta have the question. I gotta have the uh, full name of the model. That's hot. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Joe G. Hi, what's going on? What's happening, Joanna? Um, I was just wondering how you like working at Sonic. Um, I didn't really like it actually. I just don't like the smell of food. <laughs> Well, you worked at the Sonic Burger in uh, Arkansas? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the... I don't like the smell of food. I just didn't like the smell of, like, the grease in the back, you know? Yeah. It was kind of brutal. And then um, you'll see tomorrow. They make us, like, dress up in these outfits, and it was freezing, and it was too heavy. I mean, it was burning up. I'm sorry. And it was way too heavy. And um, it was it was pretty brutal. Yeah. I was just wondering, because I work at one of the Sonics. Do you? Yeah. I knew that. Yeah, what, uh, I, I didn't even know it was a national chain. No, and, it, is. it and, is. And I mean, I'm not insulting it. I'm just saying I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy wh- working wh- there. When you were working there, did you have to, I don't BS, mm-hmm. did you have to put in a full shift? I mean, did you work there for We were there seven or eight from hours? 6 in the morning until about 4 in the afternoon. Really? Yeah. Just Paris loved it. That was Paris' really? favorite job there. Yeah, just I just personally don't like through. the smell of cooking. I don't like it. Yeah. You make a great wife one day. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so I mean, you would actually put in a full shift. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nee? Nee? How do you like it? Uh, it's pretty fun. I usually work like three or four hours. That's oh, so you didn't work as long as I did. Yeah, I did you dress up in the suits? Uh, no, I haven't seen any suits here. Did you deliver food on roller skates? Yep. Oh, really? That's, that's fun. That's, that's gay for a dude, though. <laughs> No, it's because I used to play hockey, so I needed to find something to do that I knew I could do. Well, how about just joining the ice capades would be more masculine. <laughs> All right, buddy. There we go. Right, Doing thanks. good, buddy. Thanks. Hey, good times. Yep. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I like the guys are bored of us before we get bored of that. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Done with you guys. Blooms off the rose. Xavier? Yeah. You're, uh, What's now that, Xavier? There, there, there's some Xavier's and there's some Xavier's. Yeah, and it's spelled the same. Which one are you? Uh, what's the difference? I'll just call you Savior. Oh, it's Egg Savior. Okay, well, then there's a difference, obviously. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, my question is, um, on uh-huh. the, Full Moon. Full Moon. That's all I gotta say. Right. Yeah? <laughs> on the Abercrombie catalog, you say that, um, you missed your cell phone out of everything? Uh huh. Um, do they let you use um, their phones, like their home phones? We were allowed to use their phones about once a week, which yeah. was brutal. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I, thought yeah. I heard the smoke detector. Yeah, it's way off in the distance there. Yeah, keep going. I'm sorry. Time it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, we were allowed to use the phone once a week, so we kind of we maneuvered our way into ripping the phone off the wall and dragging it into our room. Mm-hmm. Or... Because there were cameras in the room, so sometimes we get caught. But mm-hmm. if we um, went into the bathroom and if we ran like the shower and turned on the blow dryer and ran the faucet, you could talk. We could talk. All right, hold on, hold on one second. One second. Hold on one second. I want to see if we hear the smoke detector chirp again. Xavier. Huh? What? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I don't get. No. What happened? No, hold on. His phone's cut now. Yeah, but now we got him back. It's going to be about 40 again next no, time. No, 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 no. We're past it already. I'm saying it's going to be about 40, 50 next time. Oh. Well, listen. Well, let me ask you a question. Wait, I don't know what you guys are talking about. We're, we're going to straighten this out in one second. Why is it every time it seems like we got a uh, a smoke detector chirp to hear the phone kind of cuts Because if there's no f- sound coming down, That's stream cuts off? it cuts. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, and so yeah. we go, let's listen. He gets quiet. It cuts. You explained that to me twice yeah. before. All right. So, oh, here's what we're doing. Uh, we hear the uh, chirp of the low battery. Of a smoke detector. Of the smoke detector. In the background of a collar. Yeah. Okay. And we're always fascinated with it because uh, people, uh, that goes on for months. And they don't know what's happening. They don't understand that there's a smoke detector going they just on? Don't Not hear usually. It. Do you hear it, Xavier? Uh, Xavier? Uh-huh. Do, Do you, you hear the smoke detector going on, off? There, oh, I hear it. Do you hear that? Yeah. I don't hear anything. Are you... That's not enough, though. You have to really <laughs> probe. Like, <laughs> him yelling three times, I don't have a smoke detector, is still not enough, because eventually you'll get to it. You seem a little out of it. <laughs> no. I'm not. Hey, uh, Xavier? Uh-huh. <laughs> Xavier? Yeah. Uh, that's what, by the way, that's what they say at your funeral. Do you, uh, do you have a smoke detector at your house? Yeah. You see, Drew, it does... It, It'll cut if there's if there's a stop and then the wor- oh See, shut up, it. Drew! I'm t- I'm talking the whole time. Why why why? It has to come from his end. I, I, I know, but we're having a conversation with him like we've been having with people all night. What what's the science behind this? Are you blaming me for how it's working? No, out? I'm okay. just saying your explanation is. Uh, uh, Have you ever been on speakerphone? If you're on speakerphone, sometimes you can completely hear what's going on, or sometimes if you just stop. You can't hear anything. Right. It's that 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 effect. It's just the way that it hits the... Xavier. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Do you have a smoke detector at your house? Yeah. It's going off. Does it have a low battery? I don't know. See, what... what, 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 Drew, what do you mean see? He gets cut off into answering his question and that's see. I'm not saying see. Is he at his mom's house? Maybe he doesn't care. See, it's out again. That's all. Are you at your parents' house? Yeah, I I got rid of him. I, I, I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's all I'm saying. I'm only angry because once a show, I want to talk to somebody. The rest is just a pain in the ass. Everyone call me, bug at me. But once a show, I want to talk to someone, and it always cuts. It always and and I know this is just uh, how Darwin works, or how um, not Darwin, but uh, what's his, <laughs> what's it called, Drew? Darwin. What's it called where everything goes wrong? Oh, uh, um, yes. Uh, Drew, what no, is I it can't with you? Of... You can't think of anything. I can't think of. That's what it works. Something's law. <laughs> Yeah. Um, law of un- intended effect. The uh, No. What's the law? The Murphy. Re- Murphy's law. There oh, you go. Oh, oh, let me ask you another thing, too, Drew. Yeah. Why is it every time I can't think of something, you can't think of it either, and then eventually I think of it? It must be my fault. There must be something volitional, willful that I'm doing it. Well, well, here's what I'm saying. What's in it for me? No, here's what I'm saying. I'm just asking. 
Yeah, this, this I'm stuff, just trying to think of it. This stuff is large. Yeah. It's big stuff. I'm trying to think of it. It's like you saying, uh, oh, my dad drives a car. Uh, it's a big American You have to let brand. it go for it to come back. If you try too hard, and right. then you're Right, so I immediately start trying. I hear him struggling. Pushes. I start struggling. I start pushing. I block. And then I block. Yeah, but it'd be like it'd be like you're trying to think of something super popular, and I blank on it too. That'd be mm-hmm. weird, right? No, like, I, like, like, I wouldn't like, think it so. happens it'd be, all the time. It happens all the time. That's how people are. That's because how, you're like, trying you said, too What's hard. What's the name of that uh, baseball team plays out in New York with the pinstripe? When you say that, usually that's what you get back. It. Usually you get back people going, oh, and then you come, you nah, get right. it before. All right. Really? That's how. That's in my life. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. I'm now upset. Let's, uh, so Xavier's a bust, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't want to talk to him. Mm. He's a weird kid, right? He's out of it. He's out of it, yes, and his phone keeps uh, cutting out. All right, let's take a break. Uh, and I feel bad for uh, Nicole's friend, who I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't tell me the last name of the model. <laughs> I'll see him in the hall. All right. And weren't we going to answer a friend, a female friend's question for uh, Nicole? Off the air. But where did we get the dude? They're both here. I, no. All right. Nicole Richie here. I'm going to the bathroom. We regroup. We'll be back. New show. Peace. Hey, everybody. It's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Nicole Richie here tonight. What's that? From The Simple Life. Tuesday nights, 8.30 on uh, Fox. We're going to uh, we'll talk to your friend off the air, uh, Nicole, and uh, answer his uh, his question. Drew, next commercial break? Sure, sure. All right. Uh, let's talk to um, Jennifer, who's 18. Jennifer? Hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Jen. What did you guys? You guys went to high school together? <laughs> Jennifer? This is nursery it's school. It's more personal if you, like, give them names. Yeah, don't soften them up. They're the enemy. Go ahead, Jennifer. Okay, um... When I'm having sex, my nipples, they don't get hard at all whatsoever. It doesn't matter how much I'm being pleased, they don't get hard. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering why and what can I do to... Do they ever get hard under any circumstances? Um, You know, sometimes if I'm really, really cold, they do. But, like, if I'm just kind of chilly outside... You know what? See, that's what I thought about doing. Mm -hmm. But... I don't know if they'll It seems to me Nicole's answer just about everything. Pierce it. No, yeah. I'm telling my you. Appendix no. is my appendix is brushed out. Pierce left, it. My Pierce. left nipple is pierced, and I know because I, I I have pierced many things in my day. But the piercing brings back sensitivity to, to your nipples. Really? I mean, if, it, if it's a medical problem, I'm just saying that, which I don't know. You can talk to Dr. Drew about that. No. But I'm just saying that it will bring back it, the feeling. Really? when When women are done breastfeeding, mm-hmm. sometimes they'll just get their nipples pierced because it just brings back the feeling. That's why my mom did that. And my, true, your mom. Whoever <laughs> was mom did that. And then they're that. constantly hard, too, which is always cute. That's my mom, yeah. yeah. But, well, <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing, too. Now, does it bring back sensitivity to it, or is there just something to do with it? I mean, there's a piece on it now. I mean, it, it's something to... Well, I didn't mean, mean irritating, but I just mean, I don't think about the end of my tongue too much, but if I put a bead on the end of it, I would be flicking it and clicking it. Well, no, it because, I mean, I've had my tongue pierced, and it's not like a... Once it's pierced for a while, you really don't even feel it. But you're so saying... With the, with the nipple... More sensitive. It's very sensitive. I hear people complain, Prove though, it. that it gets more sensitive, and then it gets insensitive. Oh, they go oh, through well, a whole... See, I haven't had it that long to say. Mm-hmm. I've had it since, you know, I don't know, they, June, they do it July. Ar- not in Arkansas. Oh, after Arkansas. After Arkansas. Celebration like, Arkansas. We don't take kindly <laughs> to nipple piercing. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, the only thing about yeah. piercing it, though, is getting them hard in the first place. Like, if I were to put, like, an ice on them, that won't mm-hmm. even help it. It why do you, why is it so important to you? Why, why is that You're important to you? It. Guys because don't care. It's not, it's not, I don't, it doesn't look good. I don't think it's cute at all. Uh, it's not. Cute? It's really? not. I mean, it's totally have, have unattractive. I think it's totally unattractive. To have the non... I mean, if it's if it's strictly just a physical concern of yours, I honestly would say pierce them because then they're, they're, they're cool anyway because they're pierced. Well, if well, you're concerned about what's wrong with it... Wait a minute, it, here's the deal. Hold it, on a second. The, uh, we, as men, we can't even figure out what you're talking about in terms of <laughs> what the problem is. And not all men are into the piercing thing. So it, it, might, go from, That's true. it might go from a neutral to a negative for the, well, as far as the guy's concerned. Let, let's put it this way. Uh, Drew's a man of extreme passion, so he never even looks at nipples. <laughs> He's, he looks right at the box. That's insane. <laughs> he has tunnel, tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. T- 
tunnel, tunnel. I'm just saying if it bothers you that much. That's I'm repeating it for you. Thank yeah. you. All right. All right. Okay. So the point. <laughs> you like my mom with these jokes. The, so he he doesn't know, but I I'm a breast man, even and and uh, and a nipple man, and an areola guy. Oh yes, and I have sensitive nipples. But you like myself. novelty, so this. I don't. I I never even really noticed it. Guys yeah. aren't. Uh, you ever got any complaints from a guy about your nipples? No, no, I've never had any. All right, well no, then shut it, up. Jennifer. Stop it. Stop all you crazy broads with your I'm wearing. No, this is gross. And guys, if a guy complains, if a guy says something, then take some action. Just keep the box clean. You'll have no complaints. That's right. Lufa the box. Thank you. Chelsea? Uh huh. You're 15? Yeah. Six. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea Nader. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, six months pregos. Yeah. And, uh,. You got an 18-year-old fiancé you're not attracted to anymore. Well, yeah. Sounds like you're right on course, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see you pregnant a few months earlier, but I think uh, this is a good save. We well, keep this is one forward. of the reasons, along with all the other ones, that teenage girls shouldn't be pregnant because you're, you, need to, you still need to grow. You still need to be attracted to other men. Yeah, I had to grow up pretty early, though, so. Well, I think we can agree that she needs a piercing, <laughs> right? I mean, we, sh- we pierce, should pierce her. the stomach. Pierce your belly button navel, while you're pierce pregnant. Pierce the navel while it's protruding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Chelsea, you're uh, you're not attracted to your fiancé anymore. The past couple of weeks, I've been finding myself not really attracted to All right. Like, right you listen, so many changes you're going through biologically yeah. with pregnancy. You, you may find yourself feeling sort of hypersexual in your last, last couple of months. Well, when she says not attracted, though, I mean, I think she's talking about she's not into the guy anymore. Forget about sexual. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So, listen, Chelsea. Mm-hmm. I, I know you're not going to do this, but can you give the kid up for adoption, for Christ's sake? Well, um, I I was thinking about that in the beginning, but both of Good. our parents... Um, yeah, where's your mom? My mom is mm-hmm. about 30 miles away from me right now. <laughs> Speaking of 30, how old is your mom? 19. My mom's 40. 40. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... How old, how old Why aren't you living with your parents? She's the youngest. How old's your oldest? 27. Actually. Oh, you live with your dad. I'm what does your dad think? <laughs> Wait. What does your dad think? My dad, um, they're actually pretty happy about it. At first, mm-hmm. we were a little yeah. upset, but both of yeah. our families agree that, you know, it's okay for us to keep the kid. They're going to help us out as much as possible. And, you know, Can I just ask you a question? Yeah. Do you, are you done with, with, your, with your life? Uh, like, yeah. I, no, I just mean, like, are you done? Have you done every single thing that you want to do just for yourself? I because once you have a kid, I... then it's done. No. So at 15 years of age... Well, I did a lot of things that I probably shouldn't have done, and I'm pretty much finished with my studying days. All right, listen, don't, we got to go, but as far as your fiancé, don't worry about it. You you got all kinds of hormones going. Don't make any decisions till after you have the kid. And my mom, she smoked pot and napped around the house all day, and then she had her kids, and then she was able to get back to smoking pot and napping around the house. So who says you can't chase your dreams? All right, we'll be back after this. Well, that's the show, everybody. I want to thank uh, Nicole Ritchie for uh, hanging out for the entire uh, two hours, by the way. Thank you. And happy birthday, Vetus. It's my friend Vetus's birthday. Vetus? Vetus. Oh, see, that's one of those rich people names. Mm. Happy birthday, you're not special. I know a guy who's named Gary. Steve. Yeah. All right. Nicole, uh, God bless you. Uh, the Simple Life, Tuesday nights, Fox, 830. And uh, until next time, this is Adam Kroller for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Um, I have a question for Nicole. Yes, gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Um, I was- <laughs> this has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Anne Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.